This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Kentucky men's basketball coach John Calipari could just about say one thing every year. Learning to play at Kentucky as a freshman is a process. He likes it when players are forced to figure things out on their own. He says it pressures them into working harder to figure out what exactly they want to do with their future and that it is completely up to them. Isaiah Briscoe, the way he's shooting the ball at the foul line, it's great for him. He'll figure it out. You didn't shoot 35% in high school. You shot 72%. How in the world are you shooting 35%? Figure it out. Are you just doing this so that you could play in the rec league in four years and five years? Or are you trying to do something special with your life and yourself? Figure it out. Longtime Wisconsin men's basketball coach Bo Ryan is retiring from coaching effective immediately. Ryan announced his decision following the Badgers' win over Texas A&M Corpus Christi last night, saying simply it is the right time for him to walk away and give assistant coach Greg Gard a chance to coach the rest of the season. Ryan won 364 games at Wisconsin, won seven Big Ten championships, coached in two Final Fours, and never missed an NCAA tournament. It is so emotional right now, and I'm trying to hold this together. And I'll tell you, I still got some people that I have to talk to from the staff that I couldn't get to because I didn't want to say anything before the game. So please understand that this is going to take a little time. The Cincinnati Reds continue to trade away high-priced pieces in an effort to build for the future. This morning, the organization trading all-star third baseman Todd Frazier to the Chicago White Sox in a three-team trade that also included the Los Angeles Dodgers. Last season with the Reds, Frazier at 230, 255 with 35 home runs, 89 runs batted in, and 43 doubles. So in return for sending Frazier to Chicago, the Reds get three prospects from the Dodgers, Infielders Brandon Dixon and Jose Peraza and outfielder Scott Shebler. Peraza is the highest rated prospect of the three, rated as the number two second baseman in the minor leagues. Shebler is now ranked as the number 13 prospect in the Reds farm system. It is now time to announce our boys and girls player of the week from week 16 of the high school sports season. Beginning with the girls, Jenkins senior guard Whitney Creech had herself a week to remember. In four games, the future Western Kentucky Hilltopper averaged nearly 48 points per game, 19 rebounds per game, and shot better than 57% from the floor. And she scored her 4,000th career point in the process, just the third girl ever to do so in Kentucky. On the boys' side, Betsy Lane sophomore Zach Hamilton averaged a double-double in two wins for the Bobcats versus Pikeville and Belfry. Hamilton averaged 30 points and 17 rebounds per game and shot just better than 72% from the field, connecting on 26 of his 36 field goal attempts. 